Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's bird and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's day 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 9th of June. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension of air. So you send ensembles. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Get us into the last stages of June and I shall get on that for you. In a moment, just to say that first video release day was our 6M UK weather forecast. And we've also released the detailed dripping outlook. Check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. For Gareth Weathers, thank you so much everyone. Hope you're having a lovely, uh, lovely um, Thursday today. Thursday today. Yeah, hope you're having a lovely Thursday. <coughs> Oh, sorry, everybody. Right, let's start our section. Temperature of CT is uh, still sitting at 14.1, 2.9 degrees, but 61 to 19.90 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 29th of May. These are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Sort of rugby today, quite local to me, the red line. Is the 30 year of air temperature average for rugby? We're starting off around to a little bit below average at the moment. See the upper air temperatures lifting up slightly as we go um, through the uh, weekend into the beginning of next week and then dropping away actually as next week progresses, except for one or two outliers. And one of those happens to be the latest GFS 6 n operational run, which actually keeps things relatively warm. But other than that, most of the ensemble members are. Cooling things down next week, setting in a northwesterly to a northerly wing. Into the second week of June, we see that the upper air temperatures are hovering quite close to, or maybe slightly uh, above average, not a particularly big deviation. Precipitation wise, so it's actually going to be quite a bit of dry web to come through the remainder of this week into the weekend of the start of next week. But then beyond that, it begins to turn more and more unsettled. So it looks as though the second week, well, the first week of June could be relatively dry, but the second week of June might actually see quite a lot of uh, rainfall coming back again. But of course, it's extended range and is therefore in, in the unreliable time frame of the GFS and its ensembles at the moment. It's just something to uh, keep an eye on, probably. Temperature anomaly from the 30th of May, 7th of June, a little bit below average, not a particularly big deviation, though. Um, precipitation anomaly from the 30th of May, 7th of June, um, rather on the driving average side, especially for more western regions. The latest wind from that from Earth, NorthSchool.net, shows that we've got an area of low pressure but all sea today with a ridge out in the Atlantic, and that's pulling in the wind from a northwesterly or a northerly direction. So the driest weather is out to the west, most of the set weather is to the east. This ridge will be building in from the west into the weekend, settling things down a little bit. And we picked this up very nicely with chart data. Miss Avalanche's UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Sunday. So it's all planned, this, isn't it? So it's all planned. <laughs> I don't know. Who knew Dab knew how to present a video? Um, no, so uh, <laughs> we begin at midnight on Sunday. High pressure reaching in from the Atlantic. Do bring quite a lot of dry weather in with it. High pressure dominates into the start of next week as well. Then the high pressure pulls out into the middle of the Atlantic as lower pressure starts developing to the north, and that begins to switch the wind around to more of a northwest or a northerly, so there's the cool down through the middle part of next week, that brings showers, particularly to the north of the west, and a drop in the temperature as well, most likely. I can't, again, high pressure in the ascendancy, as we're going into Sunday, quite a lot of dry weather, then the high pressure pulls away from us into the Atlantic, low pressure deepening in the north, sea. down comes this northwesterly. That starts bringing showers into the northwest and cooler temperatures as well. We head on into the middle of next week, looking rather unsettled, with low pressure in Scotland and Iceland showers and or long spells of rain pushing eastwards. And those showers could be quite heavy to the north and the west as well. And definitely a, a drop in the temperature as we're going through uh, the middle part of next week. The GFS midnight run, again, high pressure building in from the west as we go through in Surrey, bringing quite a lot of dry weather in with it. Then the high pressure sort of slipping away out into the Atlantic. Down comes this northwesterly flow through the middle part of next week, that brings showers into the north and west and a drop in the temperature as well. 
Uh, we move on into the last stage of next week. Low pressure then starts developing around Biscay as uh, some quite hot air begins to push northwards um, from the south. We cover this in the European outlook, by the way. So eventually, we get towards day 9 and 10, it looks like we're turning a little bit volatile here, I have to say. We have hotter air beginning to push northwards from southern Europe and also got lower pressure around the western portion of Europe as well. So suggests like an increase in temperature through the second week of June, but possibly an increase in risk of low pressure bringing uh, literally probably thunder and then showers and or longer spells of rain. That gets to the 15th of June as far as we go today with the GFS Saturday the 15th of June. Right, well, this is how a six said is looking. Now, we know this becomes a little bit of a warm, not necessarily an outlier, but we know this does become one of the warmest ensemble members through um, the middle and second half of next week. Let's see how that happens. I suspect it doesn't drop in that northwesterly, but we'll see. We start off anyway on certainly with high pressure just out to the western coast stream, mostly dry, relatively warm through the weekend. Into the early part of next week, with high pressure increasingly inching into the Atlantic, lower pressure deepening. In the Norwegian Sea, I start to bring showery conditions into the north and the west. And then Mr. Lowe developing around Biscay starts trying to push northwards. As we go through the second half of next week, we have got an increasingly unsettled look to the weather there. Low pressure with showers and or longer spells of rain as well. So really quite wet weather is possible with that. And uh, heading up toward day 10, while low pressure remains to the south, bringing further heavy showers, longer spells of rain, possibility of some thunder into the south uh, as well. So it doesn't really drop in that northerly, instead it develops this low pressure. So that's why it's a warmer, uh, a warmer um, a member within the ensemble, because it doesn't pull in most northerly winds, but it is more unsettled. So it swings and roundabouts, I guess. Beyond day 10, well, uh, the GFS uh, 6 said, looking quite unsettled, quite warm again, bringing the wind up from the south on the 12th of June. Quite warm air is sitting to the south, but not a bit volatile. Low pressure bringing further showers and or longer spells of rain right the way up to uh, the middle of June. That gets again to the 15th of June. If you enjoyed the video, please, ouch. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you share one for DM at one at drop comment. It's so what I think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and Weathers. Get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much for doing that. We have gone past uh, 18.2k. Uh, we're pushing on to 18.33k now. Um, if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Right, GM. Again, with high pressure over into Western Country on Sunday. Mostly dry. And relatively warm into the middle next week. High pressure pulling out into the Atlantic. Low pressure deeping in the North Norwegian Sea. Down comes this northwest. Sea. That will bring showers and or longer spells of rain in with it. And looking rather unsettled, maybe quite volatile actually, into the second half of next week with this low. Potentially bringing a lot of heavy rain, maybe thunder into the south. Once that gets out of the way, then higher pressure begins to re-establish around days 9 and 10, returning us to something drier and warmer perhaps by the 9th of June man. And then the ECM rounding it all off once again for high pressure just the west of the country on Sunday, mostly dry. Relatively warm air the high pressure pulls out into the Atlantic through the middle of next week. In comes this northwesterly flow that brings showers and cooler air from the North Atlantic into the middle part of uh, next week as well. And then by the end of next week, increasing size of low pressure taking over. So we've got one area of low here next Friday to the north. We've got another area of low around Biscay, trying to push up from the south. And the upshot is that the whole, low, all the low sort of amalgamate and form one large area of low pressure, which is sitting over the low countries and bringing lots of wet weather in with it. And then low pressure keeps the unsettled weather going through to the night of June with further showers and or longer spells of rain. Very, very likely then. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Uh, we have got showers in the east today. They'll be fading out overnight with the drier weather uh, re-emerging, although more showers are likely to be extreme east by uh, the course of the end of the night into tomorrow. However, the weekend is a drying trend. Should be a lot of dry weather over the weekend. Then most northwest is coming through the early middle part of next week. They bring some showers in with up. <coughs> oh, sorry, everyone. And we keep wind in from the northwest into the middle part 
of uh, next week. Showers in the north, mostly dry, down in the south. And then, and then, it starts to turn more and settles around day 9 and 10 with the suggestion of uh, low pressure, you know, bringing further heavy downpours. These are the options of the table with the ECM on sort of day four, day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the night for June. 28 members of the ECM. Ensembles with low pressure to the north and to the north things. High pressure is to the west and the northwest. And winds coming in from a uh, northwesterly to normally direction. So cool and showery. 12 again with high pressure in the middle of the North Atlantic. Low pressure is way to the east and winds are coming down from the north. Rather cool and showery there. And 11 with low pressure to the north and winds coming in from a westerly direction. That's bringing unsettled but conditions in from the west as well. So, all options looking rather unsettled, I have to say, at day 10 there with the ECM. I mean, to be time, he, uh, this is the option that we've got. And he said these, but it's this. It's only one. Um, so, a mid-Atlantic ridge is going up towards Greenland. And then there's probably some sort of trough route here. Let's put in a question mark. Um, so probably a bit of a chaff through there with like uh, a ridge out in the Atlantic. Seth SB2 final. So that would be rather showery still at day 14 as well. Seth SB2 finally, but it's a 500 millibar height and lines breaking down to meet peers. The first week period takes from the 30th of May to 5th of June. The next week has high pressure out to the west and around that we bring the wind in. From a northwest direction, mostly dry, but a little bit on the cool side. Week two will be the 6th to the 12th of June, with high pressure putting further out into the Atlantic. Top of low pressure, so Scandinavia. Winds coming in, coming in from a northwesterly direction. Mostly dry to the west, more showery to the east. Week three <laughs> will be the 13th to the 19th of June. With low pressure between Iceland and uh, Norway. Um, and so that brings in a westerly flow. Could be a bit cool and showery there. Week four, though. Check this out. It's the 20th to 26th of June. This might be our first hot spell, maybe in heat wave of the summer. With high pressure building to the east. Low pressure is out to where you would assume that would bring the wind up. From the south and the low pressure in the Atlantic might even, might even deliver some thunder. Do, do, do. Um, oh, you know, that's quite an interesting one. But it is four weeks away, so obviously it's not really worth taking that seriously. Anyway, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about gals, well as get them to subscribe to. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. By the way, to the OGs, to the Gowsworthy's Originals, Gowsworthy's.com, work on Gowsworthy's.com. The new version of Gowsworthy's.com is gathering pace. And uh, we may be able to unveil it not too much further into the future. Certainly, like, early June. I reckon we're going to be able to show everybody, um, you know, the new version of GalsWebbits.com. So, uh, watch your space on that. As I say, work is gathering pace. Just a little tease of a, you know, Gav loves a tease. <laughs> right, okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, tuning in to today's bids. We'll be back tomorrow with B6 M UK Web Forecast, Jeremy Friday, and a 10 to 14 day or two. You enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.